Thomas and the reigning champion must really be thinking it's his birthday. He seemed to be completely out of it after a third place first time out. He kept plugging away. He's won his last three races. If he can get up here in this heat 20, he can go into a runoff for the title with Sam Malenko, the American outsider, and Nielsen, his old rival, looking at the lineup. And these are the riders that Gunderson must beat Sean Moran on the inside of America, disappointing on eight points. Then Gunderson in two. Lance King again disappointing from the United States in grid three. And the Italian Castagna on the outside. Still gate one has been the most fruitful with 39 points. Goodison's in two here and he'll be looking for a clear run up to the first corner. And looking for Moran on his inside shoulder. Heat 20. Tall on this one and Moran has got a flyer. Oh, Sean Moran anticipated there and he's away. And Goodison now has work to do because Lance King is getting around the outside of him as well. And the Americans will be anxious to keep Goodison out because it then gives their man Ermanenko a level chance in a runoff and this is a disaster for Eric Goodison. He missed the start completely and well can he possibly find the extra drive and he's coming up to challenge. Here comes Eric Goodison around the outside and that's magnificent. He has taken them apart. Oh, Goodison just kept it all wound on and left the Americans as though they both had punches. What sensational. And into the last lap, the Danish crowd on their feet. So are all the people here because this really is magnificent speedway for Eric Gunderson. He's back in with a chance of retaining his title. We're going to have a three man run off. We haven't seen one of those since 1951. And Gunderson wins it. Well, suddenly we have a world final which is going to go down in the record books as a classic.